Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Elsa Haru, and welcome to another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. Okay, so I got a message the other day from a woman named Kathy, and Kathy said that she is born on the cusp. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, being born on the cusp is when you're born between two signs. So Kathy is Pisces and Aquarius at the same time because of where her time and date of birth fall at. You can be born on any cusp. You can be Aquarius and Pisces. You could be Aquarius and Capricorn. You could be Capricorn and Sag and so forth and so on. So she wanted to know how do you, how does a person who's born on a cusp, particularly an Aquarius born on a cusp, how do you integrate the two? And I pondered this from the moment I first read it because I was sitting there like, wow, uh, Aquarius, Pisces, that's got to be hard, <laughs> you know, because you got the emotion less Aquarius with the emotion filled Pisces. She said at this point in her life, she feels almost bipolar because it's like two, two totally different people. And then I'm sitting there looking at it, thinking to myself, well, how do you integrate the two? You really can't. They're two totally different things. To me, it's kind of like being half Armenian and half Korean, for example, or half black and half Chinese, you know, or um, half Costa Rican and half Panamanian. You're, there's no way of being one or the other, you know, you're both, you're always both. So it's like for every given situation, you have to just play them by ear, you know, you can't be one or the other. You're not, if you're half Panamanian and half Costa Rican, you're not going to be all of either one at any given time, period. You're always going to be both. You're always going to have customs from both, history from both, ancestors from both. It just doesn't, it's not going to change. So the first thought that came to my mind was, was that you're going to have to just come to terms with the fact that you are both. You know, I am Pisces and I am Aquarius. You have to just come to terms with that fact and deal with each situation, each one on the one. Because as things happen to you, one of your sides is going to be more dominant. One of your, your, one of your sides at any given time is going to have more of a reaction to what's going on than the other side. So one day something may happen and you may have no feelings towards it at all. The next day you might be upset about it. You might be emotion filled about it. You know, um, Aquarius and Pisces have a lot of things in common though. We're both very spiritual beings. Um, so you, the good news is that you have a lot of things that are the same or similar that you'll be able to play with. Like I said, the spirituality aspect. Um, and the other aspects that aren't the same, you're going to have to play by ear with each different situation. You're both and you're always going to be both. So you're going to have to find a way, like a child who's mixed, finds a way to have an easy balance between the two. And I shouldn't say an easy balance because the balance is, is never easy. You know, if you ever read about um, interracial children, if you ever read their stories, the balance is never easy. But as they get older, what happens is they come to terms with their identity. They come to terms with that they are both. They come to terms with embracing both sides. They come to terms with it. And that's what you have to do in this particular situation. I know these two examples may seem light years apart, but they're very similar. It's the concept of being two things at once. Du Bois used to always talk about being black and American at the same time. And what a conundrum that is, you know, um, you're black, but you're American. You get the discrimination from being black, but you get the privilege from being American. So there's always this, this weird dynamic going on, you know, and again, you have to come to terms with it and just accept that that's who you are. So when it comes to being Aquarius and Pisces, you probably are going to feel bipolar and you just have to just kind of accept that that's just, that's just what it is. Because like I said, the emotional makeup of these two beings is very different. So you're going to have to just go with what your spirit takes you from situation to situation. Okay. You have to come to terms with it. You have to become okay with it and say to yourself, you know what? I'm both. And sometimes I'm going to be this way, and sometimes I'm going to be that way. But either way, it's always you.
okay? <laughs> it's always you, it's always where you are, you know? I'm going to do more research on cusp, and I'm going to do another video in the future about my feelings on people who were on the cusp. But for now, Kathy, this is what I've come up with from just the little bit of research that I was able to do and just thinking about it. You know, that's what I came up with, that you just have to come to terms and accept the fact that you are both. And every time a situation arises, one or both of you is going to show up and you just have to deal with it one step at a time. Just breathe your way through it and see which one of your sides is the more dominant in the situation. Okay? I hope that helps. See you later.